Welcome to our new Iblebitch show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Today, we're talking about COVID-19, NASA, sports masks, and more. Let's get going. The White House is preparing for a second COVID-19 wave this fall as Brazil and the U.S. report new coronavirus infections. The WHO reported more than 183,000 new cases nationwide, which is a 15% increase over the past two weeks. The pandemic has now affected more than 8 million people and at least 400,000 deaths worldwide. The future of women and space has begun. NASA's first female spaceflight chief, Kathy Leaders, will be the first woman to oversee all spaceflight activities and be in charge of the first big mission landing a woman on the moon. Until now, Kathy led NASA's commercial crew program during the launch of SpaceX's Crew Dragon Demo 2 mission, along with being promoted to the head of NASA's Human Exploration and Operations Missions Directorate. The Human Spaceflight Program plans to send the next man and the first woman to the moon by 2024. Under Armour just launched reusable, water-resistant face masks designed specifically for athletes. With major European soccer leagues, the NBA, and the NFL returning this summer, the retail giant created a face mask engineered for exercise and performance. The sports mask keeps the fabric off the mouth, eyes, and nose, allowing for better airflow and less moisture and sweat, as well as eyeglass fog prevention. Limited quantities are available online for 30 bucks. Teen TikTokers and K-pop deans just pulled off a serious prank that sank Trump's campaign in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hundreds of teenage TikTok and K-pop users admitted to being responsible for registering potentially hundreds of thousands of fake tickets so that at the actual event, the expected 6,200 ticket attendees remained absent, downscaling attendance by a long shot. The no-show protest participants accumulated around 17,000 accounted for and reserved tickets as a way to impact the political system, even though most prankers are not old enough to vote. Our salad bar is going to be a memory of the past. That I know. Since grocery stores, restaurants, and Vegas buffets have closed down self-serve food options amid the pandemic, grocers are considering robots to revive salad bars. California-based Chowbotics recently marketed its food service robot, Sally the Robot, to colleges and hospitals where customers order on the robo touchscreen and then Sally puts together customers' requests, which is a mixture of up to 22 items for a muesli bowl. Toxa salad kiosks are also in the works. I I guess you guards are just not enough. Have you ever wondered what people are talking about when they say we are in Mercury retrograde? Mercury in retrograde is always a very stressful and confusing time for me. Mercury retrograde is when Mercury appears to be moving backwards in our solar system, although it is merely an illusion. This time is known to give people a feeling of moving backwards, like experiencing old situations or people from the past. This retrograde is happening during cancer season, honoring home and family, which will likely give us a moment to reflect on family situations. This retrograde will be especially intense because it overlaps with this year's Venus retrograde, affecting love and relationships from the past. Mercury retrograde began June 18th and will last until July 12th. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning in to Bits, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.